Hey, I'm Ed Less today, here with another big and somewhat spooky week in the city of PAE, as we get set for Halloween. The historic redevelopment of Fort Largs is now underway. Now's your chance to give us your ideas for what you want to see on Semaphore Foreshore, get creative in our writing competition, and nominate a local hero for an Australia Day award. Oh, and with Halloween coming up, now is the perfect time to take a self-guided ghost tour around spooky Port Adelaide. Stay tuned to find out how. Work has begun on the Fort Largs development. This historic site owned by Renewal SA will see 250 homes, with the heritage listed World War II barracks to be converted into apartments. The drill hall to be retained as a community facility and the historic fort to be owned and operated by the National Trust of SA. As part of this development, the historic parts of the site will be restored and retained and for the first time ever, they will be open to the public. The City of PAE has been working with all parties to ensure that the importance of this significant site is retained. Why not go ghost hunting this Halloween with Ghosts of the Port self-guided walking tour? Port Adelaide has a long history, rich with intrigue, mystery and ghost stories. The guide includes a detailed history of 13 different haunted locations for you to explore after dark. Get set for Halloween and grab a Ghosts of the Port self-guided tour book from cityofpae.sa.gov.au or grab a printed book from the Visitor Information Centre. Reward somebody special who goes above and beyond for their local community by nominating them for a City of PAE Australia Day Award. Nominations are now open and it only takes 30 seconds to put someone forward for an award in one of many categories. Check out the video on our website and social media featuring our last Citizen of the Year, Rose Darling, who will show you how quick and easy it is to nominate a local hero. Visit cityofpae.sa.gov.au The City of PAE abounds with wonderful natural environments from the coastline, Port River and Barker Inlet wetlands all the way to Dry Creek and the River Torrens. Using this as your inspiration, enter our nature writing competition to tell your story about a land, water or marine environment in PAE in a maximum of 3,000 words. Winners will be announced in Autumn 2022 at our Living Landscape Writers Festival. Three categories with up to $500 prize money for each. Visit our website to learn more. Bylaws are local laws created by the council to manage issues specific to areas under our care and control, from pets to waste, trees to signage and boats. We review our bylaws every seven years to ensure they meet the current needs of our community. We're currently consulting on changes to some bylaws. Head to haveyoursay.cityofpae.sa.gov.au to learn more and provide your feedback and comments on the review. <coughs> This week we are out mowing and spraying as always. Green Acres, Manningham, Blair Athol, Enfield, Clearview, Woodville Gardens, Ferriton Park, Rosewater, Ottaway, Taparoo, Largs North and Osborne. Weed spraying will be in Green Acres, Broadview, Clearview, Northgate, Northfield, Ottaway, Rosewater, Gilman, Port Adelaide, Taparoo, Largs North, Jeps Cross, Dry Creek, Peterhead, Largs Bay, Wingfield, Angle Park and Mansfield Park. <laughs> 